Hello, uh, Jim, Howard here. <coughs> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 22nd of 2018, a Monday. Uh, you may notice I am not wearing... Oops, not wearing these headphones. I feel a little bit... Uh, lost like something's missing I got my shirt and pants on but I'm not using this I'm using a different setup I'm using this device here which I someone reviewed it on YouTube it's only $30 uh, sound card and uh, that's what I'm using right now. The microphone is over here. You may recognize it. It's uh, not sure who manufactures it, but a whole bunch of different companies sell it, and you can get it really inexpensively. Uh, you know, here nineteen dollars. Uh, very inexpensive. <clears throat> I uh, so that's what I'm using right now. The BM BM 800. I used it in the past, and I can't remember it. It was okay, but there were problems. I think this might be one of the microphones at the time that was only outputting. And that was probably my fault. You're only hearing it in one channel, one speaker, your right or your left speaker. I uh, this is another from a different, you know, same same microphone, BM800, but has a different company name. And I in the past uh, had two of these uh, hooked up and went that route. I've also uh, used the I used the I I own the blue little blue ball, uh, and I I've had the Yeti. Uh, problem with the Yeti for me was I really had to get it right in my mouth in order to get the good volume. But it's a good it's a good microphone, but I just didn't work out for me. Uh, now, I'm using this very inexpensive microphone right now that's right over here on a microphone stand. I never seem to be able to get the microphone stand where where I want it. I, I guess since the camera's up here, hello, I shouldn't be. I find myself talking into the microphone. Uh, here, this microphone is should be a much better. Uh, that's not it. This is it. Now this should be a much better microphone. And in the past, I used it, and I don't remember. I'd have to go back, and which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to listen to my own videos. I, I don't know what. I think it was another thing of this thing having to be right in my mouth. I think that I think that's what it is, but I'm not sure. But uh, since this is supposed to be a much better microphone, uh, I suspect that the next video that you get from me, I will be using this microphone, and we'll see how it works. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, I have other microphones, but the audio box that I'm using, this right here that I told you that I saw a review, hang on a second, is it impolite to eat in front of somebody?
you know, maybe I should have got the two channel one here. But it's so much more money. And I don't think I'll. But. <clears throat> this is one of the sound boxes that I bought. In the past and used. I think this one was a little bit confusing for me. I'm a simple man. This is an expensive, came with really fancy software, which I don't need fancy software. I need software for the stupid or whatever. Now they have those books, what is it? Dummy? Everything for dummy. That's what I need. I need a hardware or whatever for dummy. Um, also, uh, this. Now, why didn't this one? This is simple. Why did this one not work out for me? I don't know. Can't remember now. I have to go back and look at my videos. And I don't want to do that. When I die and go to hell, that's going to be... That's how the devil's going to punish me. I have a thousand videos just about on here. It'll be in a non-stop loop and I'll be... be like clockwork going so I'll have my eyes held open and I'll have to watch all my videos non-stop I'll be screaming please please yeah, so this is the box of this one that uh, I just got uh, somebody on YouTube said that you needed to download drivers I didn't need any drivers for I don't think it doesn't say anything about drivers any place. So and everything seems to be working. So oh I also this was inexpensive. Inno gear. Same thing, sound card, super simple. Let me pop this. I have two of these. Why I have two, I have no, I think, wait a minute, I think, I think I was getting sound, audio, uh, uh -huh. so I turned around and bought another one, but this is super, super, super small. This again is the I N N O G E A R N O gear. Apparently, it's the model one G one O one. And uh, like I said, I got one. Trying to get this is like the first one I got. You know, where you need the uh, phantom power for this for this these other things. And. Uh, I had a hum, and so I just went ahead and ordered another one. And by the time I think I got the other one, I had moved on to different things. Now I got to put all this stuff away except for this. When I get done here, I'm going to hook this up and we'll see. You will tell me if there is any difference. So, uh, as you know, my style, which is not good, I throw things in so it makes it difficult if you're interested in something. But this is really a video blog more than... I'm not a reviewer, really. I just sort of... I've been doing it since 1982. Uh, I was blogging. 
every day about everything. Uh, my marriage, my divorce, uh, filing a grievance at work, what the results of the grievance were, filing another grievance. At, I post. I would even post the grievances that I wrote up. Uh, whatever I'm interested in when I was in blogged when I was in Kansas City, Missouri, blogged when I was in uh, Orlando, Florida, blogged when I was in Carrollton, Texas, blogged when I was in uh, wherever I was in Texas for a short period of time, blogged when I was in Miami for five years, and that Nobody's interested in blogs anymore, reading blogs anymore. Everybody's Facebook and Twitter. So I've been doing video video blogs. So that's why you're not going to come here every week or every every week or whatever. You're not going to see me eating fast food and telling you about it. You're not going to see me smashing things with a hydraulic lift. You're not going to see me in a bathtub filled with milk and with cereal in there and me eating it. Uh, you're going to hear about my life, what's going on, what I think, my opinions, what's upsetting me. And that's my video blog. That's the way it's been. It's not static because... I was reviewed a couple of times in the past. Uh, well, I had a guy come to Carrollton, Texas, who was making a documentary about blogs, about bulletin board systems. And I'm in that, it's a three DVD set, a BBS the documentary. I'm in there a few times. And I... He turned the cameras on, and I talked for 45 minutes. And then I said, maybe you want to ask a question. And then he he laughed. And he said, well, that's the first time that's happened. And I said, what? And he said, I've never started a camera, and somebody talked nonstop for 45 minutes. I said, I'm sorry. He said, no, that was, that was interesting. But I'm only in the DVD, I'm only in BBS the documentary, a few sh very short times in there. But he recorded three hours of video with me, and he has that three-hour video. I would love to get it and uh, post it on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, he has it. Um, maybe one day he'll release all those. He interviewed a bunch of people. And, uh, by the way, you can see that BBS, the documentary, it is on, because he gave permission for people to, you know, release it, uh, give it to friends, make copies, whatever they want to do with it. So it is on, I think it's in five or six parts. Uh, it's on YouTube, BBS, the documentary, if you're interested. Um. But, just to let you know that, but I really should limit, because you want to do a search or something, or maybe you're positively not interested in what microphone I'm using, or my leg infection, or my arthritis, or my skin cancer, you know, you may be interested in, I don't know, but you probably maybe are interested in a little something, but how are you going to find it unless you watch the entire video? I suspect a bunch of you people, since I have the kind of, I imagine a lot of you probably listen to this like a podcast while you're driving to work or something like that. So, changing subjects. Uh, I'm 77 years old. I was born in 1941. Uh, I went to high school from 1955 to 1959. De La Salle Military Academy in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, they're having, see, the class of 1959 
60th reunion will be here before we know it. It's going to be in Kansas City, Missouri in April of 2019. Um, so they have a... I won't be attending. <laughs> Nobody knows me. I had a very low profile. Uh, but what's interesting, I think we had 100 students in each, you know, 100 freshmen, 100 sophomore, 100 junior, 100 senior. So I think the school had about 400 cadets. And uh, so I'm saying 100. I counted up here known deceased classmates from the class of uh, 1959. And there's uh, 25 of them. So that would be 25% uh, would be, be one fourth of the class of 1959 is deceased. But there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine students that they don't have any contact with. And they would like, you know, their way to get in contact with them. So, like I said, I won't be attending anything because really nobody knows me. In the past, when a few things have come up, and uh, there was uh, Larry and Jerry Winship, identical twins. They went to De La Salle. They have both passed away. That You know, they knew me. And then there was uh, Fred Breyer, who went to St. Vincent's grade school, and we both from St. Vincent's grade school went to De La Salle. Just the two of us went to De La Salle. So he knows me. Uh, he went on to go into the United States Marines and was a Marine, and then he went on to, when he got out, uh, got a Ph.D., I had trouble getting out of high school. I honestly had trouble getting out of high school. I went to summer school all four years in a row. And when they had the graduation ceremony, they told me that I could go because they knew I was going to go to summer school. But that, you know, I would, I'd be handed a, the envelope that I got or whatever would have a blank piece of paper in it. So I didn't go to the graduation. But, uh, So, uh, I think I'm going to, well, I've been talking that direction. Let me know what you think of this microphone hook. It sounded, I made a short test. Sounded pretty good to me. Um, I have a volume control, whatever. It doesn't show that, I, whoops, it clipped a little bit there because I'm leaning in. Um, let me... Turn, let me turn the volume all the way down and then clipping a little bit there too. I'm going to turn the volume all the way down and then I'm going to slowly crank it up and uh, <clears throat> until I get clipping. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. Okay, right there, 21. Of course, now there's no uh, clipping a little bit too much there. Uh, there's no uh, real, I uh, was <clears throat> just counting so you'd know. So, anyway, uh, I'll put a link to some of these items below. I'm not sure what I'm going to link to below. Maybe just the items that I got today, which I don't think I showed you the other one. Yeah, I got that today, too. Four port, four port. USB 3.0 hub. 
So, uh, I mean, I got it hooked up and it appears to be working okay, so doesn't cost very much money. They have a seven port. I think this is maybe what I should have got. Of course, it's forty dollars, but it has uh, three charging ports. I I believe that uh, this one here, well, all of them, I think, except I believe that you're not to use this for charging, but for connectivity. Let me see. Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay. So, same with this one. But see, this one has charging ports that you could use. And for $10 more, you get more charging ports, I think. Anyway, I'll put links to these below if you're interested. Uh, thank you very much for watching.